Now the ceiling guy has has finished. I'll show you that. It looks um, it looks really good. He's had a, had a lot of issues because the walls were bent and buckled, and I wanted this um, negative edging. Okay, so you can see in here how it's all sort of worked out. It's got all the you know, we we pre-drill the um, the lights so when the painter comes, you know when when they drill the down lights in, it's not going to you know put muddy or you know handprints on there. But um, you know, all here were just massive clumps of plaster from the old, from the old cornice, right? So uh, Jason from Titan in Maintenance Services, he cut that all off for me and smoothed it all off. You know, it's a difficult job, I mate. Mean, it's not perfect, but uh, um, way better than what I could do. And um, and what he had to work with it was just a really dodgy job. But you can see up inside here. See, there are some little gaps there, so the painter will have to fill that up. But, you know, that's the good thing about Jace. Every step along the way when he's having issues, he let me know and said, what do you want to do? And then um, he was going to put a little bead, but I said, no, I really like that negative edging. So he's going to, that's, that's what's come up. But yeah, it looks, looks really good. I mean, that's what it's meant to look like when it's, um, when there's a nice edge to work to it. Um, TV area, come up really sweet. So, you know, I've got the plugs behind there. I showed you that before. So that's all turned out really well. Um, Absolutely loving the wall. The cross is on there because the painters are starting in a couple of days, hopefully. So I just put some crosses on the wall, which I don't want them to paint it, right? That would be absolutely devastating if they you know, painted that wall for me. So I put some crosses on. Um, I'll show you the kitchen anyway. Um, so it's got that nice negative edging around there. So obviously that's where the fridge is gonna go. Um, yeah, dishwasher and everything. Uh, oven, kitchen sink. Um, there's gonna be a pantry behind this door here. That'll keep all the, you know, like the music bars and stuff just to keep the guys going. Uh, if, if they come back during the day to pick up a hot water system or the Jetta, they'll have some stuff there to, um, you know, to snack on to keep them going because you do get a bit tired during the day uh, when you're exercising and working and stuff like that. Um, kitchen bench, oh, there'll be like a, a, a bench here that you can have lunch on with some, you know, USB power points. So they're all, they're all in now. Um, this is for the coffee machine. We're going to have a coffee machine cupboard sort of here, which is... Very important in the beautiful plumbing world. Uh, and there'll be a sweet uh, overhead cupboard here which will put the coffee beans and cups and stuff in. Um, so that's gonna work out well. We've, we're going with black, um, black cupboards on the top, um, no handles. And then on the bottom, uh, sort of a, the, the tops are gonna be like a, similar to a stone, but they're a laminate. It looks like a, a whitish sort of um, stone. Um, similar I've got at my place at, at home and then we've got gloss white cupboards down here with black handles um, and yeah so we'll see how that works out and probably for the doors because they're going to be white um, the, the doors are going to be white so we're thinking of maybe doing the um, the, the the frames um, just that satin black because they're going to match the, the door handles and stuff so anyway um, yes yeah, it's, it's, it's come along uh, pretty good I'll show you the uh, disabled bathroom as well uh, so go around here so yeah um, I'm, it's taken me a while to get used to the ceiling that's um, so low because I really liked having it open like it was so this is the uh, the ceiling that's you know suitable for wet areas sort of thing so that's why we didn't have the panels I was going to have the panels in there because of the fan because we have to get access but now we can get access with it when it's here anyway so that's going to be great. So, I mean, we're going to paint all these walls anyway. That'll brighten it up a, bit, a fair bit. Um, so once the paint is done, then we can start putting in the, uh, the toilet and stuff because at the moment we're just using the camping toilet out in the corner there. So, yeah, it's coming along, come along good. So can't wait till the painter starts um, and getting it sorted. So oh, it's great having the, the trades on site anyway. So it's very difficult at the moment. So, yeah, this is the, I don't know if I showed this before, this is the... Uh, the ambulant toilet, we, we have the one that the girls are mainly going to use. Um, we're going to leave that wall because I reckon that looks pretty cool. And then we're just going to put a um, like one of those partitions across, like that like they have at the shopping centres. Um, you know, like about that high and off the ground a little bit, and then um, you know with a door here. So yeah, anyway, so that's what we're up to, guys. So I'm looking forward to getting the um, painter starting, and then uh, I've already ordered the flooring. We're just going to go a black butt. Uh, vinyl planks that we that we glued down there's a fair bit of work I think that has to be done like they have to sand it a little bit but the guy came out and said he these guys can do it so I'll put a deposit down for that so hopefully not too long once the painters are finished we can book them chuck that in um, 
I've got another guy who's given me a price to um, do this door here and a, a panel and another a window here. So hopefully that can, because once we get that in, that in, then, then the office you know, will, will be usable really with the flooring in. And then we can start moving in um, and getting it going. So then I can um, get back out on the tools and start running the business again. Because it has been hard uh, to, to sort of work and also um, run the business, uh, be a dad and a husband and also building this thing as well. So anyway, good to get it sorted and uh, it's going to be a lovely workspace. So we're looking forward to it. All right, guys, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for your comments. So really appreciate them. Okay, catch you. See ya.